The departure of Kevin Costner from the TV series Yellowstone is a significant shift in both how the series ending will be affected and how future spin-offs or storylines with regard to side characters will be affected. Costner, by his own admission, is not able to return to complete episodes for the season finale. The departure, it seems, is more acrimonious than amicable, with Taylor Sheridan being very tight-lipped and minimal in his revelation as to the possible resolution of production problems and the Yellowstone denouement. There are, however, some possible scenarios in which the series could be wrapped up. One such case, if we are to believe Costner, is that he has not come back to film a death scene or anything like that. We would be left with a scenario where we are shown the aftermath of his death. This could be a major plot point, bringing significant emotional and narrative weight to the series' conclusion. The series could focus on how the Dutton family copes with the loss of their patriarch, exploring the shifts in power dynamics and responsibilities. The story might centre on the Dutton's efforts to honour John's legacy and secure the future of the Yellowstone Ranch amidst ongoing threats. Casey Dutton, who has been increasingly involved in ranch operations, might take over as the primary leader. His journey and struggle to uphold the family legacy could become a focal point. It is more likely though that Beth Dutton, with her sharp business acumen and fierce loyalty, could play a critical role in defending the ranch and navigating external threats. A showdown with her bitter arch enemy and sibling Jamie is the most likely scenario and a path to the resolution of the series. Rip Wheeler is also a key figure on the ranch and Beth's partner. He could take on a more prominent role helping to manage the day-to-day -day operations and the handling of conflicts and dirty work. John's political legacy could be a storyline within the series' resolution. His political manoeuvres and the repercussions of his tenure could influence the final story arc. Market equities and corporate battles and the ongoing conflict between outside influences like the Broken Mountain tribe will most likely reach a climax, with the Dutton family finding a way to outmanoeuvre these powerful entities. Jamie's redemption or downfall and his strained relationship with his family could see a resolution, whether through reconciliation or a final irrevocable break. He has resorted to desperate measures to take the fight to Beth and their father John. Whatever happens, we can expect an explosive denouement to his story arc. The future of Casey and Monica's relationship, along with their son Tate, might be a significant subplot, exploring whether they can find peace and stability and their place within the Yellowstone Ranch. The series might continue with the Duttons finding a way to secure the ranch's future, either through legal means, alliances or strategic victories. The final episodes could provide a symbolic closure reflecting on the themes of land, legacy and family that have defined Yellowstone so far. The show's creator, Taylor Sheridan, is known for his strong storytelling and character development. His vision for concluding the series will likely ensure that the narrative is both impactful and cohesive. Given the success of the series, there might be spin-offs or continuations of this particular particular line of the Yellowstone saga, focusing on other characters or aspects of the Dutton legacy. This could provide a broader context and extended storyline beyond the main series. Sheridan as a writer has produced many smart and nuanced works, so whatever the scenario, we can expect a creative and entertaining conclusion to the series. The series itself is most likely going to conclude in a way that honours Costner's contribution while effectively wrapping up the complex story arcs and character dynamics. Whether through dramatic events, shifts in power or resolutions of ongoing conflicts, the series will aim to provide a satisfying and meaningful end to the Dutton family saga. Looking back over the previous five seasons, we have seen that John Dutton is the patriarch, ran the ranch, and the Dutton ranch is the largest contiguous ranch in the United States. The Duttons have managed to fend off threats from land developers, the Broken Rock Indian Reservation and the National Park. The strained relationships among the Duttons themselves, Casey, Beth, Jamie and Lee are explored. Casey, a former Navy SEAL, returns to the ranch with his wife Monica and their son Tate. Lee, John's oldest and probably most trusted son and natural successor, is killed in a confrontation with the Broken Rock Reservation in Season 1. Season 2 sees the Duttons face new threats from the Beck brothers, powerful businessmen with criminal connections. Beth Dutton, John's daughter, engaged in a ruthless battle against anyone threatening the family, particularly Dan Jenkins and the Beck brothers. Casey becomes more involved in running the ranch and taking on a leadership role. Jamie, a lawyer, grapples with his loyalties to the family and his political ambitions. Monica struggles with the aftermath of a serious injury and her relationship with Casey. In season three, a powerful company, Market Equity, enters the scenes and plans to build an airport and resort threatening the Duttons' land. Jamie learns he is adopted, leading to tension and an identity crisis with 
with regard to his place within the family. Beth's relationship with Rip Wheeler, a ranch foreman, deepens. John makes political manoeuvres to protect the ranch, including aligning with Governor Perry. The season ends with coordinated attacks on Beth, Casey and John, leaving their fates uncertain. Season 4 sees revenge and recovery. The Duttons seek justice against those who attacked them, focusing on market equities and the militia group. Beth continues her ruthless strategies against the family's enemies, especially targeting Jamie. Casey embarks on a spiritual journey to understand his place within the family and the ranch. Rip and Beth get married in an impromptu ceremony. Tate struggles with PTSD after being kidnapped, affecting his relationship with Monica and Casey. It is arguable that in season 4, many of the characters are fleshed out in a much more profound way through exposition and how they are developed as the series plays out. Season 5 sees John's political aspirations spur him on to become the governor of Montana, using his position to fight against market equities and protect his land. The tensions rise within the Dutton family as they navigate their new roles and ongoing conflicts. Beth continues her fight against market equities, using both legal and underhand tactics. Casey faces a personal and professional crossroads, balancing his duties to the family and his own moral compass. Casey could be the model child of the Duttons. Aside from his impetuousness, his heart is in the right place, and like any good soldier, his instinct is to serve. In Yellowstone, his allegiance is predominantly to his family. Jamie takes drastic actions that further alienate him from the family, leading to significant consequences, betraying his father John and planning a decisive attack against the family in the closing episodes. Rip assumes more responsibilities on the ranch, solidifying his position within the family. There are many faces that come to the ranch and some that leave, and by the end of the first episodes of season 5, most of the ranch hands have departed the ranch in order to save the bloodline of the bloodstock and preserve the integrity of that particular genetic breed. It makes sense though that if John is completely taken out of the picture, Beth would now be the front runner to bring the series to a conclusion. She is one of the most compelling and complex characters in Yellowstone and has already been set up as such, particularly in seasons 3 and 4. She is known for her fierce loyalty to her family and the Dutton Ranch. She does not hesitate to use ruthless tactics to protect her loved ones and their land. With a sharp mind for business strategy, she is a key player in her father's fight against external threats. She also uses her skills in finance and corporate warfare to outmaneuver adversaries. Beth carries deep emotional scars from her mother's death, her tumultuous relationship with her brother Jamie, and a traumatic past. These experiences have made her both resilient and volatile. Despite her tough exterior, she is fiercely loyal to her family, particularly her father John and her partner Rip Wheeler her long-time love. Her protective nature often drives her actions. She is known for her bluntness and bold demeanour. She speaks her mind, often using biting sarcasm and profanity, which makes her a formidable presence in any confrontation. Beth's key relationships give us a glimpse into a few ways in which the story arc of Yellowstone can play out and resolve itself. She has a close and complex relationship with her father. She respects and loves him deeply, often acting as his fiercest defender. With Rip, she has the show's central romance. Their bond is intense and passionate, characterised by deep mutual respect and understanding. Beth and Jamie, however, have a highly strained relationship, stemming from past betrayals and secrets. Beth harbours a deep-seated grudge against Jamie, blaming him for significant, irrevocable pain in her life, Jamie having caused her everlasting damage. Beth and Casey share a strong sibling bond, marked by mutual respect and love. She often supports Casey and his partner Monica in their struggles and decisions. She also takes extreme measures to exact revenge on those who harm the Duttons. Throughout the series, she confronts her past traumas and emotional wounds. Her journey involves dealing with the psychological scars felt by her mother's death and her complex relationship with Jamie. She carries herself with confidence and a commanding presence, often intimidating those around her with just her gaze and demeanour. She bears the physical and emotional scars of being a Dutton like no one else in her family. She, most likely and deservedly, will become the head of the Dutton dynasty and carry the Yellowstone Ranch into the future. She is a multi-dimensional character whose strength, intelligence and emotional depth make her a pivotal and defining figure within Yellowstone. Her fierce loyalty, combined with strategic mind and willingness to engage in ruthless tactics, defines much of the show's drama and intrigue. Despite her tough exterior, her vulnerability and complex emotional landscape add layers to her character, making her one of the most fascinating and dynamic figures in the series. The climax, and by turns the defining memory of the show, will be Beth's. That much we can be sure of. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.